Welcome back to Digging for Health. I'm Andrea, and today I'm gonna to be dealing with a common garden pest. And I've had several people ask me some of my organic pest prevention methods. I do try to grow everything organically, and I don't even like using the, the organic pesticides. So for me, I've had to really do some digging to try to find those methods that will take care of pests that you know aren't even BT, if I can avoid it. Um, I know that's a really popular one to use in the garden, um, but for me, I'm always going to look for another method first. So come along. This is the result of a diabolical pest in the garden. Anytime you find a little stubbin left of a plant and then the rest of it laying here, it's usually the result of a cutworm and they don't even have the decency to actually eat the plant. They just chop it down. So, let's see if we can find this little guy. I may have to put the camera down to see if I can find it. I was just about to give up. I did find a couple of tiny grubs in there too. Um, but this little guy right here is the cutworm. This is the one I was looking for and he is the one that killed my little tomato plants and um, cutworms aren't actually a worm at all they are a caterpillar uh, it's a type of moth you guys want a snacky snack that watermelon's looking like a pretty good platter Good girl. And it's taken care of. You are officially my favorite chicken. Thank you. You're too slow. Now, unfortunately, it appears that we've had multiple casualties from the cutworms, and I probably won't be able to find every single one. So, we need to come up with another plan. So this time I found two more grubs. I did not find another cutworm. Um, so I'm kind of curious if these guys could do a similar type of damage. That is so creepy. Ugh. As far as I'm aware, um, there are actually some beneficial grubs. I do not believe that these are beneficial grubs. I think these are the types of grubs that will um, damage your plants by eating the roots. And, uh, not so much cutting through the stem like I was showing earlier. That is typically a cutworm thing. But I don't want to see these in my garden either. So we definitely need to come up with a solution. ASAP or I won't have any tomatoes this year. Who wants a grubby grub? You want a grub? I know, you're a diva. You don't like grubs, huh? Tactic number one, wood ashes. You know, I promise to show you guys when I do stupid stuff so that you don't do it too. I checked the temperature on the shovel and I made sure that it was, you know, it was just kind of still warm. It wasn't like melting hot. Well, apparently when I was shoveling, I managed to get a big old rock that was still searing hot from the, from the fire. And uh, I melted right through the bu bu bucket, melted right through the bucket. You see that hole? <laughs> and it melted it to this uh, weed liner underneath. Awesome. Don't do what I did. <laughs> so I put a small ring of the ashes around each of the smaller tomatoes that I thought the cutworms could still damage. Another option that is commonly used is putting something to make a barrier around the tomatoes or whatever plant that the cutworms are eating. I have found that toilet paper rolls or uh, paper towel rolls make a perfect little barrier. Um, you just cut it down the center and then in a toilet paper roll, you could probably get about three out of it because it doesn't need to be um, really tall, just enough to discourage that cutworm. 
So we have three rings and you basically just put this around the base of the tomato and you push it into the soil slightly, make sure the ends meet so that it doesn't have like a little doorway for your cutworm to go through. And um, yeah, you made yourself a little barrier to protect your uh, plants. Because I haven't tried the ashes yet myself, I am going to leave those plants without a ring because I want to compare. Now I won't know for sure because it's not like they cut down every single plant that's in my garden. Um, so this isn't like a scientific test where I can verify that yes, it definitely worked. But I guess if any of those do get damaged by cutworms, we'll be able to say, hey, the ashes don't work. But um, yeah, let's give this a try. All right, so there we go. So option number two is a physical barrier. While working out a little moat around this tiny tomato plant, I found two grubs. I am not enjoying how prolific the grubs are in this garden bed this year. Oh my gosh, they're escaping. Ew. I didn't mean to do that. One left. Somebody needs to come get this grub.